If you're like me, you don't have much time to worry about every piece of bad news you read in the newspaper or see on TV. I mean, what can you do? Life's full of hazards, with new ones popping up every day. The main idea is to try not to be a target. Now, your company has chosen the best respirator available to help prevent you from being a target from contaminants. Now, air doesn't have to look dirty to be unhealthy. The number and variety of contaminants is incredible. There are ones you notice, paint sprays and mists, for example, or dust, like coal, lead, cotton dust, or the fumes from welding. Now, just because your nose and eyes don't burn doesn't mean the air is clean. Think of the gases from liquids like acids and alkalis and the vapors from solvent tanks. Definitely not healthy. The worst is, you usually don't even notice the damage you're doing. They can take a long time. Years could go by before you feel any effect. And I'm not just talking about feeling a little sick. I'm talking about permanent damage to your lungs, liver, and kidneys. That's why your North Half Mask, or your North Full Face Piece Respirator, is so important. Setting up a respiratory protection program takes a lot of time and money, and your company wouldn't do it if you didn't need it. Now, what it really gets down to is taking your protection seriously. You're caring enough about yourself to take advantage, to use your respirator, and it doesn't involve much. First, read and understand the instruction manual for your respirator. If there's anything you don't understand, see your supervisor. Then, get a good fit. Wear the respirator correctly. Check it regularly and take care of it. That, in a nutshell, is all the respirator needs from you. Let's start with fit. Extremely important. You want to be sure there's the least possible leakage between your face and the face piece. Otherwise, there's room for contaminants to get through. So, when you're first fitted for the North respirator, you start out by finding the size that fits the most securely and comfortably on your face. Before a fit testing begins, and then every time you're about to go into a contaminated environment, you need to do a positive and negative pressure seal check. For a positive pressure seal check, you block the exhalation port with the palm of your hand and then exhale gently into the face piece. If the face piece seals correctly, it'll bulge slightly and you'll notice an increase in the air pressure inside. If it's a poor seal, you won't feel the pressure build up, but you'll sense the air leaking out. For a negative pressure seal check, you block the cartridges or filters with your palms and then inhale gently so the face piece collapses slightly and hold your breath for about 10 seconds. If the seal is poor, the face piece won't remain collapsed. If it leaks, you may only have to reposition the face piece or readjust the straps. Remember, positive and negative pressure seal checks should be done every time you put on your respirator to work in a contaminated area. That way, you're always sure it's functioning properly and it seals the way it should. Now, the other part of the fitting process is done less frequently, quantitative or qualitative fit testing. The kind of test will depend on your company. Quantitative fit testing is a pretty involved operation and it isn't practical for everyone. Qualitative fit tests, such as irritant smoke or Bittrex, are simple, quick, and easy. The irritant smoke test should be performed in an area with adequate ventilation and you should keep your eyes closed. Once you've become accustomed to the face piece and perform the required user seal checks, the test operator will then direct a stream of smoke from a smoke tube toward the sealing edge of your face piece. You will then be instructed to perform several exercises in the following manner. Normal breathing, deep breathing, turning head side to side, moving head up and down, talking, 95, 94. bending over, and normal breathing again, as in the first exercise. If you detect the irritant smoke at any time, the test has failed. Upon completion of the test, you'll be questioned regarding the comfort of the face piece. If it's unacceptable, another size or model should be tried. Another fit test, the Bittrex test, is conducted in a hood. A sensitivity solution is atomized into the hood 
while you're not wearing the respirator, and then again while wearing it. You'll be asked to go through the same exercises as you saw for irritant smoke, and if you taste the Bitrex, you know the face piece doesn't fit right, and you may need to adjust your face piece or require a different size or model face piece. Fit testing is one of the key elements in getting the most protection from your North respirator. After that, it's really up to you to make sure that your North half mask or full face piece respirator is always doing a good job. That means checking it every time you're going to put it on. Take a good look at it. How about the face piece? Any cracks, holes, tears or wrinkles? Is it dirty? Make sure you've got all the valves, inhalation and exhalation and that they're clean and flat. The sealing surfaces of the face piece should be clean and not distorted. If you wear a full face piece, also check to see whether the lens is cracked, scratched, or loose. Check the head straps. They shouldn't be losing elasticity or breaking. Do the buckles and attachments work right? If you find that any parts of your respirator are damaged, missing, or not working properly, see your supervisor to make sure they're replaced. Now, some important points about filters and cartridges. First and foremost, use only the ones your supervisors provided for you and wear them only in the situations they're designed for. There's a good reason. Air purifying filters protect you against particulates such as dust, mist, or fumes. Cartridges protect against gases and vapors, and each cartridge and filter does a different job. Now, this black labeled cartridge, for instance, it's made to protect you from organic vapors, and this white labeled cartridge can't do that. It was made to protect you from specific acid gases. This olive cartridge can do both. For some jobs, you may be using a filter and cartridge combination. Never make up your own combination and don't use any cartridge or filter that is not designed for your North respirator. If the cartridge or filters are not made for your North respirator, they won't protect you. If you have any question about whether you're using the right filters or cartridges, see your supervisor. Here's how you know when your filters or cartridges have to be replaced. With filters, the signal is when it becomes more difficult to breathe through them. That means they're getting clogged with mists or dusts. You may have to change your filters before they become difficult to breathe through. It will depend on the type of filters you're using and the type of particulate you're exposed to. If you don't know when to change your filters, check with your supervisor. With cartridges, your supervisor will tell you when it's time to change them based on the concentrations of contaminant in your workplace. He may have you change your cartridges on a regular basis, maybe every day or even several times a day. What happens is, the special charcoal gets used and the vapors and gases pass right through. You must change the cartridge before this occurs. If you're using a filter cartridge combination, you may have difficulty breathing and have to change the filters, even though the cartridges are still working fine. Well, that's normal. With a filter cartridge combination, almost any time the cartridges need changing, the filters will probably be clogged with contaminants and need changing too. Another point. Your respirator has two filters, two cartridges, or two filter cartridge combinations. Be sure to change both sides at the same time. And remember to leave the contaminated area before you change any filters or cartridges. Otherwise, you'll expose yourself to the contaminants. Once you've made a thorough check, pay attention to how you wear the respirator. Like most everything else, there's a right way and a wrong way. The strap shouldn't be too tight or too loose. Both straps should be fastened. All valves, both inhalation and exhalation, should be in place and working properly. Make sure your hair, and if you wear glasses, the spectacle temples don't interfere with the seal to your face. Obviously, that means you can't wear a respirator effectively if your hair or glasses interfere. And especially, if you have a beard, contaminants will leak right through between the face piece, seal, and the skin. The fact is, your respirator can't work properly if you don't wear it properly. Wearing it the wrong way means you're just inviting contaminants into your body. 
The idea is to get into good habits. Understanding the instruction manual, wearing your north respirator correctly, checking it regularly, and depending on your particular respiratory protection program, you might also be cleaning and storing your own respirator. To clean, you start by removing the filters and cartridges. Never let them get wet. Then, you scrub the respirator using a soft brush in warm water with North Cleaner Sanitizer or some detergent disinfectant combination. That's fine, but don't use solvents ever. They make the face piece deteriorate. When all the surfaces and parts inside and out are completely clean, rinse them in warm water. Rinse carefully because you don't want any residue that will give you skin irritation. Let the respirator air dry, setting it in a normal position so it'll keep its shape. Your respirator is made of materials that can distort if it's carelessly stored. So don't stuff it in your locker or in your toolbox. If it gets distorted, it won't fit right. And if it doesn't fit right, it won't protect you. Getting into good habits, that's what it's really all about. That's how to make your respiratory protection program work for you. Use your North respirator. Get a good fit. Check it regularly and take care of it. Now, if you've got a question or a problem, see your supervisor. Remember, if your company wants you to wear a respirator in a certain area, it's because the air is contaminated, no doubt about it. Now, if you don't want to be a target, just take some time and care. Take advantage of the respiratory protection. It'll help you stay healthy and feel better on the job and off. The way I see it, you've got a lot to gain and your North respirator is definitely one piece of good news. For more information, please visit our website at bunzelpd.com or give us a call at 1-800-456-5624.